We were taken by surprise. Um, and this is a workforce that your viewers will recall has been through the ringer in the last number of years. It's only four years ago that the Morrison government failed to provide support to Virgin at the start of the COVID crisis. Company lapsed into administration. There were months and months of uncertainty for these workers. Workers and their unions worked with the administrators, pulled the company out of administration, uh, extracted commitments from the new owner, Bain Capital, to make sure that there were good jobs, there were more jobs, that there was a full service airline. Uh, and now we have a circumstance after working so hard to get this company back in the air working hard with the management team to get it back to a profitable situation uh, where we have this sudden announcement. So yes, in that context, it is reasonable that workers are a bit concerned overnight. What, what are the undertakings that Jane Hurdlicker ha has made to you, the union workers, when it comes to job security? And uh, what would you like Bain Capital now to do about those commitments? Well, it is important that Bain Capital recommit recommit to good jobs, more jobs, to a full service airline, to investing in fleet, to making sure that there's a good international footprint for this company going into the future. It's important also that they answer workers' calls uh, for a share of the profit when they decide eventually to float this company. Uh, there's all of the uncertainty as well around speculation around uh, an initial public offering. Uh, and workers have said, well, we should have an employee share scheme. Um, we've contributed to the company and we should be able to uh, take some of that back. But the key thing here is that Virgin has taken a different path from Qantas. It's taken the path that said we will maximise our direct hire workforce. We won't outsource workers. In fact, we'll make a commitment to re-insource workers where we have contracted them out. Uh, that's positive and we want to see that recommitted to with a new CEO and also from Bain Capital. You have said that aviation has become a very volatile industry for workers. What's the impact when a company does insource a job? What's the impact on a worker's life when that happens? Well, uh, what we've seen with Qantas uh, is a company that splintered its workforce deliberately outsourced its workers into 38 separate entities and we lived the consequences of that with poor service standards, with uh, an inability to attract workers to the industry. Virgin's taken a different road, a much more positive road and they've said look we'll have a pathway to make sure as many of our workers as possible are directly hired and when you have that situation you have workers who are willing to go the extra mile for the company and that's what workers are so concerned about overnight. Of course they've worked hard to get the company in a better position since COVID. They want to make sure that's undisturbed. They want good commitments and recommitments from Bain Capital and they want a new CEO to commit to that culture into the future. Do you reckon this uh, sudden announcement, shock announcement, uh, delays, potentially delays the floats into later this year or, or whenever? One thing's for sure, it's added another layer of uncertainty. And um, in aviation, uncertainty is really, really unhelpful. Um, one thing we know about aviation, we don't know when the next crisis will be. We know there will be another crisis. And we've been saying for some time now uh, that we should put in place a safe and secure skies commission, an independent decision maker in aviation, so that we can, sure, uh, take account of the views of aviation CEOs and airport CEOs, but also balance them with the public interest and with the interest of workers um, so that we can flatten out some of those peaks and troughs we get in aviation. It's a volatile industry. Workers have worked hard to get Virgin back up in the air and they're really keen to ensure that a new CEO recommits to that pathway and that Bain recommits to that pathway. Uh, would you, what, what would you like, an internal appointment, external appointment? Alan Joyce is looking for a gig, for instance. Well, uh, you know, it is really important who heads up these companies. We've seen that over the course of the last uh, number of years. You get the wrong person and you can have aviation decimated. You get the right person, even if they're a little tougher, um, and Herdlicker has been tougher, but she's been mm. pragmatic. Um, and um, you can do good things. And, and we've done good things with Virgin over the last four years. We don't want that disturbed. Much interest from the government on your idea for a commission, an independent commission? Well, uh, it is ALP policy. Um, that um, there should be independent decision making in aviation uh, and of course we'll be pursuing that um, over uh, the coming months and years because it is important that when the next crisis comes, the next volta volcano, the next terrorist attack, the next COVID, um, that we've got the settings in place to ensure that we don't have the, the turmoil and chaos that we had in 2020, 21 and 22. Uh, all good companies have good cultures. Uh, based on your experience with Jane Herdlicker, her executive team, the culture that Jane Herdlicker presided over, what's your honest assessment about the 
leadership culture that Jane Hurdlicker presided over? Well, it was a very rocky start. Uh, Bain Capital committed to keep the previous CEO in place, um, but as soon as they got their feet under the desk, sacked him and put Herdlicker in place. In fairness, Herdlicker has been pragmatic. Um, we haven't always seen eye to eye. Um, some workers have been a little um, off put by her style, but um, the test here is what has been achieved. And what's been achieved is a company back in profit. What's been achieved is a company that's committing to a direct hire workforce. We want to see that happen in Perth and Queensland now and in Canberra. And what's happened, of course, is a continued recommitment of Bain mm. um, to those initial commitments. And we want to see that again. Mm.